Hello all, Twani here, and I'm here to show you how much fun Jill's latest action, Kaleidoscope, is. I'm not showing you how to install an action, I'm not showing you how Photoshop works, just what this action does and how much fun it is. Alright, let's just get started. I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and play the 6x6 Kaleidoscope. And I hit play down in my palette. Alright, and it says... This action will create a kaleidoscope effect using any image that can cover the start slice. But first, I need to do a little magic to create the document and slice you'll need for this. Click continue. I can click continue. And look at the magic happening. Okay, magic's all done. You may not realize it yet, but now you have two documents open. So we're going to go ahead and stop this and see both our documents. Window, arrange, tile. Okay, I've got them both. Let's hit play again over in my palette menu. It's time to open and place the image. Let's do that. Click continue. I have an image all picked out from my recent Italy trip and I'm going to hit place. Now notice it fits it into the thing. That's okay. This is a full size image. I can make it bigger and just kind of stretch it. Hold on. Let me hold that. Just kind of stretch it till I have just the bit of the image I want. I don't want the blue, just the green and the tans for this particular paper. There you go. And I click the check mark to select it. I'm happy. Let's see what happens now. Magic. See, action's already playing. If I like what I see, I do. Just click continue. Then I can finish and I can save this paper. And we'll just call this Kaleidoscope paper one. Okay, and so now this paper is all saved. And I think just for fun we should do this one more time. Shall we do it one more time and see what a different effect we can have with the same photo? I'll go ahead and hit play in my palette bar again. It reads the same thing, so I'm going to click continue and I'm going to watch my screen do its magic. And magic's done. I'm going to go ahead and hit arrange and we'll see the additional window too but that's okay I still have the start started I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and it's time to place I'm gonna choose the exact same picture but this time when I make it bigger I'm gonna let the blue really be a part of it I think we need it a little bit bigger I want that blue in there I want to see how it looks okay so everything's pretty much the same except that I've chosen a different part of my picture. Now let's see what magic paper Jill creates for me. And look at that. It is the same and yet totally different. I'm going to go ahead and save that as well. And we'll call this Kaleidoscope Paper 2. Okay. And you can see these two images side by side, totally different but the same image. Cool, right? Now I want to just take a look at this one. That's it. Go ahead and make it bigger. Oops, I didn't mean to make it that bigger. All right. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how much different you can make this look as a paper. All right. Just by adding an overlay. But we are going to do something spectacular. We're not going to use just any overlay. We are going to use the image as the overlay. What I'm going to do for this is pick Jill's um, mixed media. I have one in particular I love. It's her texture overlay mixed media number two. I'm going to place it. Okay, and now instead of using it as an overlay, which is what you would normally do, I'm going to take the background and I'm going to flip it around. And now my kaleidoscope paper is my overlay. What I'm going to choose to do is a color burn. And look how cool it looks over an overlay. Is that cool or what? Well, I think it's cool. And there you have it, a simple paper, lots of pattern, lots of texture done quickly using just two patterns from Gilbert's Bits of Bites.